one. Uh, you all received uh, some information in, uh, by email probably yesterday regarding a growing greener grant application. And I'd like to put that on the agenda after the long-term parking committee report and before the solicitor's report. All right, President's Report. I just have a few comments to make. I, for those of you who were unable to attend the meeting last week during our work session, to which uh, many uh, business owners from State Street attended, uh, this was an excellent meeting. I want to thank everyone who came out. Uh, the ideas that were presented were very thoughtful. Um, I also received some emails from people who were unable to attend, and they uh, repeated a lot of comments along the same themes of uh, areas that council and the State Street business um, area needs to consider in order to keep our business uh, district up and running. Uh, one item, there were, there were four areas. There was the, uh, the, there was one about unity of the business district. There was a second one about the need for uh, assistance with marketing. There was a comment, of, well, there were many comments about the need to address parking you know, on many levels. And the fourth was that we needed to look at our sign ordinance again, that a number of members of the business uh, community felt that our sign restrictions may not be in the best interest of improving business to their, um, their shops. So if council is in agreement, I would like to uh, recommend that our planning commission start looking at our sign ordinance and to invite members of the business community to attend uh, select meetings at which time that topic would be on their agenda so that they can get some better understanding of what, the, what some of the changes to the sign ordinance might be and then to bring some uh, suggestions and recommendations back to council. Is everyone pretty much in agreement with that? Any okay. comments? Okay. All right. Then we'll move forward on that one. And that uh, we'll let uh, the business people have been uh, responding back to Marsha. I want to thank you for sending out that email uh, to them and asking if they are interested in participating on these various topics that were raised. And we'll uh, be sure to let them know as soon as the Planning Commission has determined which is the appropriate meeting, that that would be the one for them to attend to make their thoughts known. Okay. Thanks. Okay, I received a few items of correspondence. Oh, a couple months ago I was asked to respond to a survey on illegal dumps in Bucks County from the Keep, Amer Keep Pennsylvania Beautiful uh, organization. And I received a letter back to thank me for my participation and uh, I went on a survey, one of the various survey monkeys, uh, and they had sent back some of the results. The Bucks County survey identified 123 dump sites containing an estimated 223 tons of trash. And as far as I know, none of them were in the borough. So <laughs> that's good to know. Um, <laughs> so the, um, the Keep Pennsylvania Beautiful organization wanted to let us know that since 1990, they've been helping local municipalities, watershed groups, and concerned citizens across the Commonwealth to clean up over 85 million pounds of trash from their communities. And if anyone would like to know more about how to utilize this valuable tool within your community or how Keep, Ameri Keep Pennsylvania Beautiful can assist you in your efforts to address illegal dumping, they have a toll-free number of 1-877-772-3673. Uh, and you can contact them or go on their website to see. The other item of correspondence I received was an email, and this is from uh, Jerry Delovich, who is on New Hope's Borough Council. She's the chairperson of Community Affairs, and she sent the following email. Dear Newtown Borough Council, I'm very pleased that you are considering passage of an ordinance that provides equal rights to Newtown Borough's lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. As you are well aware, equality for all citizens is a basic human right. 
In 2002, New Hope passed an ordinance protecting its LGBT community with regards to housing, employment, and public accommodations. In May of 2011, our ordinance was updated and once again passed unanimously with bipartisan support. The results of our ordinance have been extremely positive. Our citizens are proud to live in a place where differences in people are embraced and where each individual can live up to their full potential in a safe community that legally protects them. Our Human Relations Commission is a volunteer group. Since 2002, no complaints have been registered and there has been little or no financial impact on our budget. At the April 2011 annual conference of the Pennsylvania State Association of Boroughs, the association adopted 16 new policy resolutions. Policy resolution 2011-02, which she has included in its entirety below, seeks to include sexual orientation and gender identity or expression in practices of discrimination. I am proud to say that this resolution was initiated right here through our own Bucks County Boroughs Association. We cannot wait for our state to pass LGBT equality. Let it begin borough by borough, township by township, city by city, until our politicians at the state and national level understand that people want protection, equality, and fairness for all of our friends, neighbors, and family. Sincerely, Jerry Delovich, New Hope Borough Council. And that a resolution that she has added is resolution 2011-02. Be it resolved that the PSAB support the passage of legislation which amends Act 222 of, 19, of the 1955 Pennsylvania Human Relations Act, dealing with practices of discrimination because of race, color, religious creed, ancestry, age, or national origin by employers, employment agencies, labor organizations, etc., as defined and seek to include, quote, sexual orientation and gender identity or expression, unquote, in the protections encompassed by the act. Okay, and that's all the correspondence I received. <laughs>